you need to establish a why, right? Why are you creating this blog? Why are you posting on Instagram? Why are you promoting this prod product? Why should brands hire you? And why should they work for you? So I think everything that you post on Instagram or on your blog should benefit your followers. What's most important is the content you are producing. Social media right now is so overpopulated with bloggers. So you really have to stand out. You need to be authentic and don't be scared to try something new, but you have to be real about it and really believe in what you're promoting because honestly, readers and listeners are going to see right through that. You must network with other bloggers. And when I first moved to Chicago, I found this organization. It's called Windy City Bloggers. And it's an organization that connects connects women with other women. So it's kind of like women supporting other women. women yeah. And it's fantastic. <laughs> Highly <laughs> recommend. And they send out newsletters to you every Monday. They host galas and cocktail hours. They do, um, you know, they support you. So they like sponsor you on their site. But they also send you brands looking for influencers. So they kind of pair you with brands, which I think is extremely beneficial for new bloggers. What do you think about people who say you should have a niche and you should only be a sports blogger or you should only be a fashion blogger. Yeah. And I want to talk about both. You know, I've had the same exact issue when I first started blogging. I think finding a niche is absolutely key to reach success in the blogging world, but that doesn't mean that you can't write or talk about your other interests or your other passions. So for example, I consider myself as a fashion blogger and I think a lot of my followers do come to me for celebrity gossip or fashion advice, but because I'm so passionate about lifestyle entertainment, like sometimes hard news, I'm like, why not post everything? Why not make a bigger community with more diverse people with different interests? And that's just going to drive traffic. That's just going to influence more readers. And if you can just do that, why not? It's easy. And you're going to make yourself happier just because you're writing about stuff that you're so passionate about. How much posting is too much posting, especially with a time that everyone's at home? People are looking for that outlet to kind of relax and take me time. It's like us who turn to reality TV to get our minds off of things so it's up to us the bloggers to produce that content so consistency is absolutely key no matter what pandemic or what always be consistent so for example like whether you're creating content on your blog writing articles you're posting an instagram story you're doing a instagram live like you can change it up a bit you don't have to just produce article after article, but be consistent, get engaged, get your audience involved, because that's when you're going to see a difference in your followers and just people trying to connect with you. There's several other bloggers out there that can give the same exact content, unfortunately. So if they want a hair tutorial, give them a hair tutorial. <laughs> if they want the top hottest affordable outfits to wear to brunch write an article about that um for example actually my bloggers have been begging me to do a podcast because i'm always talking about celebrity gossip and at first i was like a podcast like i don't know about that and then i was like but why not i love to talk i'm obsessed with celebrity gossip and so what I'm doing is I'm giving the people what they want. And now my podcast is launching this summer. 